glory and honor unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem A double honors unto the elders and apostles in GMS Great Millstone and a sincere shalom to you. I can bring out this word in diligence and in truth. We deep. And we come another week out through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Hey, to tell you so-called Americans they, that what? That America will be destroyed and that the Lord is currently moving his hand to uh, bring forth the scourges for amendment, man, as the scriptures speak. You know, right. you have a bunch of things happening in the spirit right now. One in particular going into, you know, uh, the opposition of, uh, of the truth, man. You have a lot of men that's trying to find another way into building their, their paradise in America. When the Lord tells you uh, directly that what? You have to lean upon him and uh, that vengeance is his, man. You have that man, uh, the Grandmaster uh, Jay. He's uh, leading you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to believing that you have to rise up against this devil carnally, man. When the scriptures clearly tell you that what the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High, man. Meaning what? That the Most High does not deal with those that are dealing in the flesh, man. He's dealing with the men of the spirit. The men all around the world preaching his word and the spirit of power, Yahweh by Shemiah was shot, man. Right. You know, so can we grab that man? And uh, how about Shimei Oshai is the one who set up the white man in the position of power. That's right, bro. So it's going to be the Lord who takes him out. Exactly. It's Romans 13 and 1. It says, let every soul that, sub that be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but the Most High. Right. The powers that be are ordained of the Most High. Kind. It says the powers that be are ordained of the Most High. The scriptures tell you within the book of Job 9 that the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. But who gave this, uh, the, this, this current world, this current era? It was the Most High, man. Yahweh, why Yahweh shy? So this is Esau's appointed time to rule. Can you read that again, bro? It says, let, this, let every soul be yep. subject unto the higher power. God. For, the, for there is no power but of the Most High. God, hey, and this is going to be the same precept that you know, your, your, uh, your pastors bring out the church when they're telling you to take the chip man you know not, uh, not knowing that this is going into a hey, if a if a law is uh, opposing the will of or the law of Yahweh by Shema Oshai that you're not supposed to follow it man for example Esau is going to tell you to take the chip but the Lord tells you directly that you're not supposed to take it man meaning what hey Esau's rules does not go above the most highs man right. you know so the higher power is ultimately Yahweh why Yahweh Shai Verse Whosoever therefore resisted the power, resisted ordinance of the Most High. Okay. Let, me, Saki, let me add something real quick. Because really what that's going into is the Lord set up the Roman Empire back at that time. It was their time to rule. Right? This was the fourth beast. All right, so the fact that they were established as an empire, any any of our people that tried to rise up carnally with arms, you know, like 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 you see, like the brother mentioned, a, a Grandmaster Jake, you're basically going against the will of the Most High. Right. All right. Because the Lord, the, even though Esau is on his way down, Esau, the, the Heavenly Father hasn't. Uh, uh, it's not his time to fully bring him down just yet. Because there's other things that have to happen. Okay. We have to wait upon the Lord to come and break and, and uh, break that empire, man. Right. And also the. Uh America is the revised Roman Empire. God, exactly. That's why everything is in, uh, in, Roman, uh, in Roman Catholicism and things that are going on in our society today is just adopted from the Roman Empire. God. Exactly. Yep. And, 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 and what it means by submit to the powers, meaning the ordinances that they have set up in society today. Like, you know, we got to pay our taxes, yep. render to Caesar what is Caesar's, okay? Um, when we when we driving, make sure you got your seatbelt on. Make sure you got your insurance. Make sure your tags and registration is taken care of. License is clean. Make sure your license is clean. You know stuff like that, just so that you can function and maneuver and be able to be uh, uh, productive. All right. And and also, hey, when you get into an encounter with law enforcement, Yahweh Shai told us, be uh, uh, agree with thine adversary quickly. That's right. When you are in the way with them. So that's what it means by be subject to, to the ordinances. Because the powers that, that be are ordained of the most high. The Lord set them up. Right. Don't be trying to take them down carnally and think that you're going to come up in his in his place. Exactly. Because you're not. Exactly. He's going to rule for a certain time and then Yahweh Shai is going to take them out of his place. That's it. Yahweh Shai is going to bring them down and he's going to set us up. All right. Let me read the last verse again. It says, Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of the most high, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. Because you, you're, you're basically going, it's the same thing with 
um, when Peter was trying to stop uh, the Romans yeah, from taking Yahweh Shai. Yeah. What did Yahweh, what did Yahweh Shai say? Get behind me, Satan, because he was trying to upset the prophecies. The prophecy is that Yahweh Shai had to be taken. He had to go up and he had to be put up on that cross. Exactly. So nothing was going to stop that. Same thing here. Ain't nothing going to stop that but Yahweh Shai. He that got up on that cross and he's the one that's going to take this devil down. Still ready? I'm done. I, 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 can I get this real quick? This is uh, 1 Peter 2 and verse uh, 13. It says, Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme or unto governors. Be kind, because the scriptures tell you what? Be ye as wise as serpents and harmless as doves, man. So in this fight that we're doing, hey, the scriptures tell us that what? We're sent among uh, sheep. Uh, we're sent among, we're sheep in the midst of wolves, man. Meaning what? We're prey here, you know? Meaning what? You got to follow, you know, follow the ordinances and laws that were given, you know, but also understand that no law, hey, when a, the law is opposing the will of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, hey, you know, you know what comes first, man. You know who comes first, you know? Because you got to give space for the Most High to show His power, yeah. especially amongst those that believe, okay? Because now, now you get a, a chance to... Um, to see the miracles of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. Yep. Now you get a chance to see uh, what happens when you when, when you're in the uh, the strong tower of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. Then you get to, to see the people that aren't. The, the difference of the example uh, made by by uh, by the two. Okay. And if you if you up there trying to take guns and, and have a shootout with the cops, no sign with that. He would rather you be harmless and when they try to kill you, make you bulletproof or, or, or whatever he could possibly do. Show his power. Raise you back from the dead or whatever he would choose to do. Okay, to show his power to make others believe more. Y'all got it. It says, uh, it says, or unto governors as unto them that are sent by him for the pu for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of them that do well. Mm -hmm. All right, that, that's pretty much it. This is our Romans chapter 9, verse 17. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for the same purpose have I raised thee up that I might show my power in thee, yep. and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Be kind, and uh, in the account that which the brother is going into, you know, back in the time when we were uh, when we were under bondage, under slavery in the time of Egypt, you know what? The Lord hardened, Pharaoh, uh, hardened Pharaoh's heart to do what? To exemplify his power, man. So he sent Moses as that, as that, uh, that man to lead Israel in that appointed time, and he used those, uh, he allowed Moses to be used to show forth the Lord's miracles, man, you know? But in the process that it did what? It showed that what? That the Egyptians were only men and that we were the chosen, chosen uh, seed of the Most High, man. That is, man. Yeah, that was the point. Kirk, that's got another three. Bring that, uh, Daniel, 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 what? Four. Daniel chapter four, verse 17. So this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men. Kirk and give it to whomsoever he will. God, meaning what? That the Lord controls who's ever he put in power, man. The scriptures tell you, I believe in the book of uh, Ecclesiasticus, Sirach, it says uh, the, heart of the, the heart of the king is in the hands of the Lord, yep. you know, and he turneth it whithersoever he will. That's Proverbs. Proverbs, Proverbs. Like it. Proverbs Was it more in that precept as well? Or? That was it. God, and he turneth it whithersoever he will, meaning what? Hey, whoever that the Lord sets up, man, is the most high making that leader uh, run the way he is, man. Hey, because to the, to the general public, everybody just sees Trump as what? Trump is the, the head of it. Well, no, right. Trump is just a puppet, man, that the elites are controlling. But the Most High, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, they're controlling the elites, man. Right. So everything that you see going forward, for example, that Grandmaster J dude, he's just set up, man. He's just another piece that the Most High set up in order to, uh, for Jake to be caught up. Another stumbling block for Jake, man. Yeah, hey, the Most High does that. He sets these things up. Like, like Donald Trump, and people would look at us and be like, but he hates blacks and this right. and that and Hispanics and whatever. Why would you like this guy? It ain't that we like him. We just like what he's doing. Because he's helping forward and destroy America so we can get up out of this captivity. Yeah, we he's, are. He's helping set the prophecy in order. God, God, we, we are. are coming under his administration. Exactly. exactly. And we understand the role that he's playing within the destruction of America, man. Right. You know, we see that, that Trump, is, Trump is the face that everybody hates, man. So what? He's gonna bring this place to the ground. He's gonna further the destruction of America, man. Right. Come on. Oh yeah, it's the last verse. It says, uh, and set it up over it the basis of me. Right. 
It's set up on the basis of men, man. As we say, Esau is the, is the basis of men, and that's who, because uh, this is the last captivity, man. This is the last captivity that we ever gonna have to endure, you know? Daniel chapter 4 verse 17 This matter is by the decree of the watchers And the demand by the word of the holy ones To the intent that the living may know That the most high ruleth in the kingdom hey, of men the Scriptures say that the living may know man. Hey, cause When you go back into the, 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 the scripture Or the chapter uh, Ezekiel 37 The only ones living are what? Those that have the breath of them man so it says to the intent that the living may know. And the living men are the men of Yahweh Bashim al Shah with the spirit understanding how the prophecies are moving. This is uh, uh, Psalm 70, five. 75 and verse 5. It says, Lift not up your horn on high. Speak not with a stiff neck. Because that dude, uh, that's, that's how that dude, uh, Grandmaster, Grandmaster, uh, Grandmaster J, that's how he's speaking. Basically, he's speaking in a way that he that that he can obtain some power. Like he has a, you know, opportunity to just snatch power. You don't. Yep. Are you the only power you have is to lead people astray, leading people away from the right way. Correct. That's why you don't have the right name when you speak of the Most High. That's right. Can I say something? I've been with ministry for like three years as missionary, but I was discouraged because of, of the money thing. Uh, I felt that uh, I was taking advantage of money. Uh -huh. so I left ministry. Right now I'm on the streets. I was out here for five months. I've been in Texas. I've been in Arizona. I've been in California. That's where I'm from. Uh, how do I work that out? I mean, with the church? I've been discouraged from from. When the church rejects you in a way for who you are and who, what's your ethnicities and what's your life and where your culture is from. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, basically what you're saying, you're asking is. If you don't trust the church because they're not running well, that's what I'm the saying, money, right? Right, right. Yeah. It's just, you feel it's corrupt? I mean, we're out, yeah, I thought it was corrupt. That's why it is. It is. Hey, it, well, is. it is. It is. It is. It is. That's what Lord, that, Lord, what do I do? So, that can I get a quick script real quick? Somebody right. grab um, uh, 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 Jeremiah 3, 3 and 15. Well, there's a, there's a purpose for that because you're, the Most High opened your eyes to see that that's false. A lot of people don't know. They think that's the only way. Yeah. But the Most High set up certain men in the earth like us that are out here to tell the real truth from His words, from the true imp interpretation of the scriptures. I believe true. that everything that I've learned has come from Him, not from the man. Right. Like that like, like God opened my eyes but, to give but that, me the, the spirit of the servant. Exactly. And that, and that church, the way it's set up, is it set up to, to, to do the will of the Most yeah. High. It's set up as a, as a, as a money grab. For benefit. Yeah, and to push out. We let God take care Isaiah of it. Six he will take care of it. Isaiah 6 Okay. Yeah, 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 this, bro. Because this is going to tell you what I'm about to read. It's going to it's gonna, um, prove what you're thinking. This, this is what the, the scriptures say about those, pe those pastors. This is Isaiah 56 and 10. It says, His watchmen are blind. They're all ignorant. They're all dumb dogs. What does a dumb dog do? A dumb dog is, a dog is supposed to uh, warn you of the things to come. They're not telling you that martial law, World War III, the mark of the beast is the RFID chip. They're not warning you the things coming that's gonna uh, condemn your soul if you if you if you uh, uh, within them, Maybe. or if you don't get in the grace of the Heavenly Father. The Word of God taught me that uh, if I want a relationship with God, you know the things of God, I need to build that relationship on a personal basis. Right? How, how do you do that though? Reading the Word of God, Listen. praying, fasting. With, with the pro God. right, with the proper understanding also. Right. And the Bible uh, is, uh, is a mystery book. It's like a, a, an algebra problem. Okay, you have to put in the right variables to get the equation to make sense. God, to land back off what the brother is saying, that's why it says, for precept must be upon precept. Uh -huh. Line upon line, line upon line. But with stammering lips and another So term. you do precept, have to jump around. Meaning what? Scripture. The, scripture. Different okay. scriptures, you have to jump around to get the yes, pieces right. to see the big right. picture yeah. of it's that particular part. Right. There's a puzzle. You, the puzzles don't come together, yes. put together. You got to put them in pieces together yep. to get it. And, it, and, and that's why we're reading two precepts for you to give you understanding of your them, question. Why, why do you read to them in parables? Right. For them, it's not to understand. Exactly. Right. right. And, and only when the Spirit is given into you to open your eyes and see it, that's how that's how it works. And then a quick question, because um, he asked you, what is, the, what is the dumb dog? Right? If you got a dumb dog and the dog don't do what it's designed to do, exactly. just to warn you when somebody's in your yard, then you don't need that dog. That dog is useless. So exactly. you need to get you need to get with a it's dog more, that's gonna warn you. It's more than what the dumb dog is. What? In a way, right? 
The wood's supposed to, the dog is supposed to be more. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed, it's supposed to bark, let yeah, you know somebody. Let you know more than what's in the yard. Right. Give the, what the, you the, love, the affection the of the animal and what it truly is. Well, Basically, it's supposed to be besides the, the dumb dog. Right. In a way. Well, you don't need a dumb dog. You don't need a dumb dog. A dumb dog, you, you a dumb dog is not doing its job. The purpose of why you would have a dog. Is a wild so if you're dog. sleeping, the dog is up watching. Mm -hmm. And what is the dog going to do? Warn you when somebody's in your yard that ain't supposed to be in your yard. Okay, so, you're, so your house won't be taken over you won't become a victim. Yeah. That's what the pastors are not doing in right. the church. That's why it's talking about them. That's we, why it's, it's we're it. told that the church that I've been to are all the ministries in California, Arizona, Texas, and right here, that if you can't go out there and make money for the church, we don't need you. Jesus never rejected anybody. That's it, all I mean. Really give, yeah. uh, really yeah. Yeah. But do you think yeah. that was yeah. more of the more of the Catholic religion? No, it's not Catholic. In the way, Christian. Christian. But, but, but what's the, the difference? Are what's the difference? Yeah, right? I don't know. They come from the there, because in a way, it's like I don't believe passing a, a basket around. Right. To be, hey, we got to pray. So we all brothers and sisters here, and we all we all the same. I don't believe that we got to pay to read the scriptures. Right. Somebody you gotta get, listen. Uh, you gotta uh, listen. Uh, somebody uh, real quick, get uh, Proverbs 23 and 23, 23. real quick. Okay. Just, yeah. just get that and then uh, get back we'll to, to his uh, scripture. 23 and 23. 23, and 23. This is Proverbs chapter 23 listen, listen, and verse listen. 23. Buy the truth and sell it not. Also wisdom and instruction and understanding. Mm -hmm. Those are the things that you want to uh, spend your time, your truth, energy. Sell, sell it not. Yes. Buy the yeah. truth and sell it not. Yeah. Basically, don't, 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 yeah. don't try to uh, market, market Amen. the understanding of these scriptures. Or, or, or put a price on it. Right. Yeah, and and a lot of these uh, pastors out here, they're, they're greedy. Yep. Their motivation is money. They learn, they learn, they learn, they learn the art of psychology to tap into people's minds and, 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 and their emotions and it make them feel good and it makes them come back. So they back use the word of God instead they, of they understanding they, the word of God. They abuse their position. Yeah. You, that's not what you're supposed to do. Yeah. If you choose to freely give out of the kindness of your own heart, you want to freely be a cheerful giver, Amen. that's what you're, that's what you're to do. But it's not a requirement. But you're not to be taken advantage of. Right. It's Titus 1 and 10, for there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert old houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. Yep. Filthy lucre, man. You know? Meaning for unjust gain. Like people, people use this thing to capitalize. Hey, 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 my question is, you think you're out of time? I've been like I said, for years. Why does God let this happen? Why does he keep letting it happen? Get Isaiah 6 and 9. For his purpose, for his will. Yeah. This, is, this, is, this is the battle of good and evil. We're about to read a couple of scriptures for you that's going to tie it all in together. And this next scripture is for those pastors. We're going to go to two scriptures about pastors that ain't teaching you right. And then this brother going to read a scripture to you. I know Ezekiel 34 teaches about those, those who are, who are, who are, uh, the, 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 uh, how do you, what did you say? Uh, Talking about the shepherd and yeah, the sheep. Yeah, the shepherd and sheep, you know, that yep. go unto yeah. you, shepherds. Yep. You do not feed my sheep, you know, who, right. who, who leave yeah. them, you, know, you don't, don't even look for them when they're hurt. I mean, go ahead, go ahead. It's, uh, Proverbs 11. Wait, let me say this. Because you said that those pastors, was, uh, you didn't feel they was going right by because they were money hungry, pretty much. The mother church got, got, got condemned and cut off. The head got cut off in California. All right, listen because to the pastor got caught with a lot of money in his house. There's a listen Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. Right, so so uh, look, I'm going to read this part. I want you to read that again after I read this. I'm going back into... Uh, um, Isaiah, Isaiah 56, and I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read the first two verses. Verse 10: His watch, his watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs that cannot bark. Sleeping, lying down, loving slumber. Yeah, the dog's not supposed to be doing. So like, the dog's not supposed to be doing that. Their watchdog is supposed to be on guard, watching the house, sniffing things out, anything move, boop, boop, and go bite it or whatever it's supposed Amen. to do. The pastor's not warning you. That hey, these things are coming. On, that's their job. They're just no. chilling and making you feel like everything's all right. But your people right. supposed to be doing that as well. But well, well, no, we got to go to the pastor first, though, because he the one that's supposed to be. Make you feel like you, you're worthless because you're not making enough money. 
or you're not making enough money for if them. If any pastor's talking about, what they about. any pastor talking about money, that's the wrong guy off the top. You got it, bro. Verse 11. Yea, they are greedy dogs which cannot never have enough, and they are shepherds that cannot understand. Uh -huh. They all look to their own way, every one of his gain from his quarters. And that's why they, they, they want their gain, they want their financial gain. When this brother's gonna read to you what a real pastor's supposed to be doing. Yep. Go ahead. And then why don't you read that, uh, uh, uh Bunya Kanan, and then it's back on you. It's uh, Jeremiah 3 and 15. Uh -huh. And I will give you pastors according to my heart. According to the mind, the heart is really your mind, not, not this. This does nothing but pump blood. Okay? So this is where your mind, your heart really is, is what the things you really think about. Okay? So he's gonna give you according to uh, pastors according to the way he thinks that's gonna give you the truth. Okay, go ahead. It says, we shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Which will feed you with knowledge and understanding. How many times you've been at that church, you hear all the different topics in this Bible, you hear the same eight topics that come around yeah, all season. How, how did you know that? We all came out. <laughs> you know? How did you know that? Yeah, you know? No, I'm serious. How did you know that? For real. Because, because we come from there. Yeah. Every, every, at least six, five or six times a week, Tell the money issue would come up. Well, you guys are not making That's what it's called. Can you I teach prosperity. Yeah. Can I get a quick one? This is uh, Psalms 119 and 104. Through thy precepts, yeah. I get understanding. Precepts are, are different scriptures that you put together to get the full understanding. That's how you get it. Somebody might as well get a, a, a Isaiah 28 also. You, you still have more, right? I got a different one. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. This is uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets yeah, that have a... been before me and before thee of old, Prophesy against many countries. Hey, so if you're a pastor, you should be prophesying against many countries. What else? To many uh, great kingdoms uh -huh. of war and of evil and of pestilence. Now, when you go into the scriptures, what was Jeremiah, Isaiah, you go through all those prophets, what were they talking about? They prophesied against the kingdoms that they were in, right? right that the Most High was going to take them down and then prophesy to the people that they didn't get right. Is the pastor doing that? No. Come as you are. You're going to play, sing these happy himself. songs. Yeah, he ain't, he ain't really worried about the people. He just worried about how the people the collection. And if you watch, I watch close the, uh, the pastors in the churches that I used to go to. Right. You watch them look over after the plate come around, you see them look over at them, they'll give them a nod or they'll give them a little high, like, send it, up, send it back, there ain't enough, send it back around. And then it's like, you see those little things, you start picking up on it, you see the corruption. You're not going to see nothing like that in the true church of the Heavenly Father. So ain't a white pastor praying on their enemies instead of praying. Or their enemies. Y'all got it, whatever. Whatever y'all got. I got one. Curry, I want the brother to read that Proverbs again. What we're trying to show you is that a real prophet, a real pastor, is going to feed you with knowledge and understanding. Prepare you for the things that's coming. That's what a real watchman does. He lets you know the times you're living in and the things that's coming. A prophet say before, tell you what's going to happen before. They're going to feed you with that knowledge that's going to be what? It's going to nourish you. It's going to have, it's going to have you prepared for you know what's coming. But at the churches, you just, you basically, you're going in there and they charge you. When you pay tithes, it's that you're paying a price to hear stories that they're going to give you. They're not going to warn you. So we, so the, the riches that he is accumulating, it's, it's not even a profit. Go ahead, read that, bro. Proverbs 11 and 4, riches profit not in the day of wrath. Why would it profit not? Because riches is not going to get you out of this, but knowledge and wisdom shall get you out of it, shall be the stability of the times yep. and strength of salvation. Tell you that in Isaiah 33 and 6. Yep. So if your pastor's not giving you that wisdom and knowledge, then really he's not profiting you. Knowledge is everything. Gotta read this yeah. quickly. Go ahead, bro. This is Proverbs 8 and 10. Receive my instruction and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold, for wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. There's no comparison to the wealth of, of knowledge and information and wisdom and insight that the Most High gives through, through his men, through his words. Hey, God, because look at, uh, for example, King Solomon. You know, King Solomon wanted what? He wanted wisdom, and with wisdom, he uh, ended up doing that. And, uh, the While I was in ministry, while I was out there preaching the gospel, fundraising, 
I got to pray for people. I know the God. I felt the presence of God. I felt the presence of the Holy Spirit. But that's what we, it was just me and God. You know what I mean? Me and the Holy Spirit. But once I got back to the church, it's just a bad feeling. You know what I mean? Yep. It's just a bad feeling. Yeah, that, that's, what's, that's what I'm confused, bro. Why did God help me to see that? And now I'm out here on the street. That, that doesn't mean uh, that, 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 there's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. But, like Job being an example, you know about the book of Job, right? What happened to Job? In the book of Job, he went through a lot of things. And what, what was, the, what was the, uh, the test, the trial that Satan was trying to, trying to put him through? To see if he would turn he against the Lord. Everything. To see if he would turn against the Heavenly Father, right? God knew his heart. God, he never turned. He, he never, never turned. He curse God, he is, curse he God, he God and died. He said, you know? Everybody got to deal with it. You get strong. Exactly. You know? We all poverty. We all struggle. We all deal with the same thing. Call on Some me. of us worse than others. Call on me, and I will balance your life back out. But don't think on this side of your captivity that it's about to be easy. It's not meant to be easy yet. It'll be easy when I when I put my son in full power in the kingdom of heaven, which is in earth and is coming soon. Who so have, in a way, suffering is on earth, and when we rise, it's a condition. It's, hell, hell is a condition. It's not a place. It's a condition. It's Proverbs 11 so and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, uh -huh. but righteousness delivereth from death. Yep. The righteousness of the perfect shall direct his way, but the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness. That's right. The reason being, because what is what is riches going to profit you when your life is on the line? Scriptures tell you that, that they're not going to regard their gold or silver. You ain't going to be able to pay your way out of the tribulation and the trials and all the infirmities that the Most High is going to unleash. It's called the day of the Lord's wrath, the time of Jacob's trouble. When that time comes, which if you're going to churches, you know nothing of that day and that time. You can't do nothing. You're just going to be victimized. Matter of fact, uh, I got a quick precept. Word of God also says that we have to go through the fire. We have to. Right. And that trial of you being homeless is part of your trial by fire. Yep. You're going to denounce him? But where are you going to turn if you denounce the Heavenly Father? How are you supposed to uh, uh, get back uh, to, to a yeah, level that you can live? Maybe it's a, it's a trial for me. Where I can't go nowhere else as much. There you go. There you go. It's, 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 it's just like Job. Yeah. Job had to bear his, you know, his burden when he went through. Every one of us got to go through what we got to go through the most high put us through. Just to all that remain faithful unto him. Because Job said, though he slay me, yet will yeah. I keep my trust in him. Yeah. This, is, uh, this is Matthew, uh, it's like in Micah 3 and 11. I got two scriptures. It says, the heads thereof judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire, and the prophets thereof divine for money. Yet will they lean upon the Lord and say, is not the Lord among us? None evil can come upon us. That's what they say. But if they don't have the knowledge and the wisdom and understanding of the Most High, they're not covered in part of his elect, they will be, they will go into destruction. It'll be their their uh their persecution. And then I'm gonna read this, because you're not supposed to labor for money. This is Proverbs 23 and 4. It says, labor not to be rich. Seize from thine own wisdom. Wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle towards heaven. Yeah. So you can't hold on to money anyway. That's why our scriptures say riches will profit you not in the day of the Lord's wrath. Yeah. So what do you have to cling on to? When you us can get Matthew uh, 6 and 33, I believe it is. Yeah. Eagles are the messenger of God, right? Eagles. They are the messenger of God. The angels are the messenger. Angels are eagles. Angels are eagles. Angels. All else shall be added up to you. You know it, huh? Yeah. And it's written for edification. It's Matthew 6 and 33. But seek you first the kingdom of the Most High Yahweh and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Yeah, not seek riches. It says they were not to be rich. Seek, seek, the, seek the king and the Lord. The kingdom of the Lord is his knowledge, right? It's knowledge and understanding. You're going to have the, uh, the uh, spiritual kingdom, then the physical kingdom come. So this what we're teaching right here is the kingdom of the Most High because this is his knowledge. This is a step in, step in the direction towards getting into that physical kingdom. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead. It's almost on you, Carla. Yeah. Go ahead. This is uh, First Kings. We're going to King Solomon real quick. Yeah. Yeah. 
so the first. I was going to sell them at 7 anyway. Yeah, six kind of good. Six. Good. 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 And thy servant is in the midst of thy people, which thou hast chosen, a great people that cannot be numbered nor accounted for multitude. Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this thy so great a people? And the speech pleased the Lord that Solomon had asked this thing. And the Most High Power said unto him, Because thou hast asked this thing, it has not asked for thyself long life, neither has asked riches for thyself, nor has asked the life of thine enemies, but has asked for thyself understanding to discern judgment. That, that goes directly with the same man, but that's a little deeper. But what was said by the Lord said in Matthew, said the same thing. Seek first, seek first his kingdom and righteousness, which is exactly what was said right now with the brother just read right now. Uh, he didn't, he didn't ask for all the carnal things. Solomon could ask for anything. He right. could have asked for anything. But he asked for the right thing first. For the one thing and he, he got both because he asked for everything right. else. That, that's why he was the most uh, wise king in the uh, world. Because he got both. Yeah. And he's, um, he needed to spread that, that wisdom in his first judgment. I'm going to hit the next one. Let me get this one and go directly with it. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7. Uh, verse 7 says, uh, Wherefore I prayed, and understanding was given me. I called upon the Most High, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I preferred her, talking about wisdom to her, uh, before scepters and rulership uh, and thrones, and esteemed riches, nothing in comparison to her. Neither compared I unto her any precious stone, because all gold in respect of her is as little sand. And silver shall shall be counted as clay for her. I loved her above health and beauty, uh, uh, and chose to have her instead of light, for the light that cometh from her never goeth out. All good things came to me with her, and innumerable riches in her hands, and I rejoiced in them all, because wisdom goeth before them all. And I knew not that she was with the mother of them. Uh, excuse me, I knew not that she was the mother of them. Uh, I learned diligently and do communicate her liberally. I do not hide her riches. And let me get 14 real quick. It says, For she is a treasure unto men that never faileth, which they that use become the friends of the Most High, being commended for the gifts that come from learning. Mm -hmm. I'll jump down to 20 for you. Um, no, I gotta read 15. Hold on. It says, The Most High hath granted me to speak as I would, and to conceive as it is meet for the things that are given me. Meaning, I have the understanding or the answers for the things that are that, that the questions that come to me. Because he asked for the wisdom. Right? Like, like if somebody only has money without without wisdom. It's like it's like if you go to your dad, right? Like, like that. This girl is tripping, man. I don't know. not playing out of bounds. The discipline is not to play out of bounds. You know what I mean? That's, so that's what discipline is. It's a, it's a boundary that you got to know not to cross. And you have to keep it. 
inside yourself. And a wise man would basically guide you towards that. No, what that boundary is. said watchman, right? Right. Watchman. They're going to tell you where that boundary is. tell you where the boundary is at if you cannot have yourself in those boundaries. You don't know how to go in You got it, brother. It says, um, and love is the keeping of her laws. And the giving heat unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption. And incorruption maketh us near unto the Most High. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. If your delight be then in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. Read 8 and 5. 8 and 5. Yep. Yeah, that one go too. <laughs> 8 and 5, yep. It says, uh, no, I'm going to read 8 and 4, then I'll read 5. It okay. says, uh, for she, for wisdom, is privy to the mysteries of the knowledge of the Most High, and a lover of his works. If riches be a possession to be desired in this life, what is richer than wisdom that worketh all things? And if prudence work, who of all that are is more cunning work, workmen than she? Can I say something? Yep. The, 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 the richest men on the planet Earth is not the, is not the elite. God. The, sup the super richest men on the planet Earth is the Lord's prophets. Right? That's right. right. Because they have the wisdom. Right. They have the, 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 the history, they have the, uh, 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 the, the, the present, they have the future. Yep. Right. The yeah. full understanding Ooh. of the scriptures, man. At, right. the same, at the same time, what do you think about people who say that money talks, bullshit walks, excuse my language. But what about a man that's rich with love? Well, the scriptures rich with him. love of God. The in scriptures way. talk about being rich in faith. Yep. Yep. Okay. The scriptures talk about the, 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 the the riches of the knowledge of the Most High. I got you, bro. Go ahead. This is uh, Jeremiah 9 and 23. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Let's talk about wisdom of the world. Yep. Neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Yep. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. Yep. But let him that glory in, glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord which exercises loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight in, said the Lord. What is the, what is the embodiment of the scriptures? I mean, of, of the laws? It's the, basically how to treat your fellow person. First of all, how to have reverence and respect and fear for the Most High. Uh, Paul said, Paul said. One, one, one second, okay. one second. Then, how to treat your fellow person and yourself. That's that's the richness of it, and when, and when you do that the right way, what is that? That's love. Yeah, yeah. Clarify right? that, bro. Paul said, Paul said, Paul said in his scriptures that uh, you know, you can have all things. Uh, uh, speak in tongues, uh -huh. pray, do it, do all things, but if he has no love, you have no charity, charity. 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 you don't have God. Paul you don't said, have love. Paul you don't have God. Above charity and all of that spiritual gifts. What do you say? So, so yeah. this and the, hey, this is really the, the most, the highest form of love that we can give you—a warning from the heavenly Father. Because, because ultimately, we're sharing you the secrets of the most. High. Right. The rest of the world don't have these these mysteries. Can I, can I, can I say hey, the Lord said, "I have called you my friends." Yeah. You know, you only show your friends. You only tell your friends your secret. You don't tell everybody your secrets. I want, I, want to say this. I want to say this real quick, because think about it. What if we were given this and we didn't come out to teach it to nobody? We keep it, okay, we're going to be all right, but what about everybody else? We come out here as a service to everybody else, but it's not according to us, it's according to the Heavenly Father. You know what I mean? So that's Him sharing love and charity through us unto everybody else that wasn't given to immediately. You know what I mean? Hey, and uh, real quick, Bo, are you still in Jeremiah? Read that uh, again, Jeremiah 9 and 23. Jeremiah 9 and 23, it says, Thus saith the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, yep. neither let the mighty man glory in his might, let not the rich man glory in his riches. In other words, if you have any of these three qualities, whether you are, 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 are very wise, you know, you're very uh, knowledgeable, book smart, or you, you, you're one of those type of individuals, that like to do a lot of heavy researching, you read a lot of books, you went to college, you got all these books, you know, you're very articulate, intelligent, whatever they want to call you, or whether you have ultra strength, you know, you're a big bodybuilder, you, you, 
you a, a, a mighty fi a fighter, power lifter, you, you, or something, you're a power uh, lifter, right? Or it said what? It or, said uh, or, uh, riches. or your riches. Yeah. So you can have Bill Gates money. You can have uh, uh, Warren Buffett money. Jeff Bezos. You can have Jeff Bezos money. If you have, if, if any of those three things pertain to you, it is not true. It is not true that get the credit. You didn't make yourself that wise. You didn't make yourself that rich. You didn't make yourself that mighty. And that's nothing exactly. to be. And that's nothing to be glorified about. You don't bring glory to yourself because you have those things. Exactly. Like you bring said, you didn't get those things on your own. The Most High gave you those things. Exactly. And if you're making it about yourself and not giving Him the glory. You want to give Him the glory. Exactly. And then that's not something to be glorified about because the Most High don't give a shit about that. He can tell you. He don't care about that. <laughs> Hey, if you look at Paul, what did Paul say? He said, I know how to abase and to abound. I know how to I know how to suffer need and to suffer. What did it say? And to suffer uh need and I forgot the other one. Suffer uh, uh, um, he knows how to be full and he knows full. how to be hungry. Yeah, right. I forgot exactly how to, but that was that was it. He's basically said, but also, he knows how to be both because he's always rich in spirit. You know, if you stay rich in spirit, nothing else is gonna matter. Heavenly Father's gonna provide for you. Got it. Paul, Paul was an, an awesome example of what God could do because he was crucifying and, and, and who was it? Uh, the, uh, the apostles that, that died at his feet? Stephen died at his feet and he watched him die as people stoned him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Right. But he said the same thing that Jesus said, forgive them because they don't know what they do. Yeah. 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 But he was saying that on behalf of Paul. Because Paul witnessed that Paul was the one that the most high was going to bring into. Paul was persecuted. Paul, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know called him off? Yeah. 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 He blinded him because he was going to use him. Of course. Yeah. Right. He, he put him through straits. Right. He had him go to straits. Right, right there is when God told me I can be, use so anybody. Yeah. I can yeah. use yeah. anybody. It doesn't matter who it is. That was the I beginning of the whole straits. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he taught me about. This is uh, Sirach 11 and uh, 14. Yeah. It says prosperity and adversity. Life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the law are of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Love and the way of good works are from Him. Yeah, right. So that's why we're not to glory in those things because it all ultimately comes from Him. Right. Verse 24. But let him that glory, they glory it. So if you're going to glory in something, glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. Meaning you understand his word and you know him, you know his true name. And you have access to call upon that true name. That's it, man. You ask something? Yeah, kind of. So 1 Samuel chapter 2 and uh, verse 7. The Lord make the Lord kill it and make it alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it up. The Lord make it poor and make it rich. Yep. He bring it low and lift it up. He raised up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from the dungeon to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's. And, and he has set the wealth upon them you know because brother's topic is what you know the riches of this world versus you know the riches of the spirit man so i got a precept right here this is uh, revelation 2 and 8 and unto the angel of the church of smyrna write these things saith the first and the last which was dead and is alive i know thy works in tribulation and poverty going into the, the church of smyrna though they didn't have uh, riches uh, as worldly riches it says i know thy works in tribulation and poverty but thou art rich what is that richness that they're talking about rich in faith Rich in understanding. So it says, But thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say there are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Because when you look at the opposite side in uh, Revelation 3, this Revelation 3 and uh, 14, and unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write, These things saith the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of the Most High Yahweh. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou work cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm, 
and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. And they were lukewarm because they had riches, they were worldly riches, right. they, they missing that. But the other uh, poor camp, so to speak, poor yeah. church, they had, they were rich in, in uh, wisdom. Right. So he, he looked upon them a little bit better yeah. than Leo, Leo DC. The 17. But they were, they were I mean, more diligent I mean, in the uh, ministry. Right, right. You know, they, they, were, they were more zealous for their faith. The, the, the rich, uh, uh, the church of Laodicea, they, they, they had wealth. So when you're wealthy, you're, you're more comfortable. And even the Lord told that in that parable about those who, uh, uh, who, who choked the word because of uh, the cares of his life and riches of the world. Well, that was the church of uh, Laodicea. Okay. 17, because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and poor and blind and naked. This is Proverbs 13 and verse 7. There is that maketh himself rich, yet had nothing. Man. There is that there is that maketh himself poor, yet had great riches. And, and that sounds almost like what you're going through, like the situation. The Heavenly Father may have made you broke, but he gave you the richness of the spirit. Which brought you here before one of his churches today? Man, I cannot. I mean, everything hey. that, that, that the Lord has taught me through prayer, to read the Word, spending a lot of time with Him, I still got it in me. I still feel that I have the Holy Spirit in me, even though I walked away from that ministry, bro. I, I still believe that it's cooking. The Holy Spirit wasn't in that ministry right here. Let you know right now. Holy, the, the Holy Spirit wasn't in that ministry. Now, does that mean that there wasn't people that were of sincerity in that in that ministry? Probably. But the, but the core of it wasn't there. Unless you got the full understanding of this thing, it ain't there. The Heavenly Father will give you a And if they're treating people like that, go bring in more money. Every day. Go fundraise. That, that's not the real spirit of the Heavenly Father. You can't do it. They don't want you there. It's not the place for you to do it. Okay. There's a Sirach 11 and 21. Marvel not at the works of sinners, but trust in the Lord and abide in thy labor. For it is an easy thing in the sight of the Lord on the sudden to make a poor man rich. <laughs> Bro, hey, I got to read 20. And two years ago, that I could bring in a hundred dollars or more a day, but why? Why? Why am I doing this for you? What, what's, how come the church isn't getting? How come the? Because we had a men's home and a women's home. How come? How come we still have broken this and broken that? And, and things are. are I could have taken. I could have taken this uh, money. You have a nice house and, and you have a nice car and. and, and and your wife were paying for those nice shoes that she just bought oh, today. Oh, you know, let me ask you a quick question. Let me ask you about, remember uh, what hurricane was that in Houston? Uh, Harvey. 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 Hurricane Harvey, right? Houston. I was there, bro. I was, I was there. We, we barely missed it. Right? Yeah, I got away. We got away from her. Yeah, we ended up going out past okay, Right? So so you know about it, right? So Joe Lowenstein. You know what? He, the biggest mega church in, I think, uh, Texas. Uh, in Texas. Right? But well, I think his is bigger. Why, why wouldn't he help? All the broke people in Texas, he got more than enough to help. Yeah. Maybe he can't fix it for everyone, but he can help. Why didn't he let the people in the building that was on high ground and everything? Why would he let them in there? He said because they didn't ask. So the Heavenly Father didn't tell you to help these people? You didn't want on your spirit to think to help at least your congregation, no one else? That's simply... And if people still vote if they went COVID, but they still be going to that church. That's the difference of the spirit of the Heavenly Father versus the spirit of, of whatever else uh, is going on in these churches. The, the evil spirit that's going through these churches. So-called churches. Yeah. I was going to say, the Lord fed all the people with the fish and the bread. They didn't ask. Right. Yep. He just uh, fed them. Right. Because they he knew they were hungry. hungry. They have been there for hours. Yeah. That, that's, why, that's why I don't understand. Well, why can't these people come in? Why can't we help these people? Greater miracles than I have done, you will do. Yep. Praise the mustard seed. Yep. So when I see people, 